Hello, and welcome back to Fallout 4. We are continuing to work on quests for the Minutemen. Um, because this is kind of the main story quest that's right here, but we're not ready to do that yet. I want to head over here to this Finch farm. And then I guess since we're going to run up this way anyways, we might as well do this Museum of Witchcraft quest that's over here. I don't remember it being very long, and I think you just kind of get through it. So let's go over here to Bunker Hill. We'll walk up in the direction of the Finch farm. And then since we're going to be right there, we might as well, you know, well, I don't know. We'll go up there and then we'll do the quest and then we'll come back and then we'll do the Museum of Witchcraft. Uh, we're trying to get to level 23 at this point so that hopefully we can unlock the armor level 3. Which will allow us to do some serious upgrades to our power armor. Because I believe I failed to pay attention and I messed that up with the last level up that we just did. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Uh... I wasn't paying attention to the fact that my armor was damaged. We need to go back really quick so we can repair all of that because I just noticed, oh, it's red on that side. So we're going to have to spend some steel and stuff trying to fix that. Okay. My stupidity. Okay. Well, we have to be there. Be, 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 be. Let's hop over here. Okay. So repair is T. Yeah, we were relatively damaged on all of those. Okay, that easy thing to do. You just you have to remember to do it, and I forgot. So now we can now we can quick travel back, and then we'll be fine. <laughs> you gotta keep the armor repaired, or else it doesn't protect you. So, back over here to Bunker Hill. Try that again. Grognak the Barbarian. Blood on the harp. <laughs> I wonder if anybody actually made a Grognak the Barbarian comic after these after these games came out. That'd be kind of funny. I mean, it's supposed to be Conan, but whatever. Okay, so we need to head to the northeast. Nice so it's gonna be that one. <clears throat> uh, I guess we have to go around the settlement this way. The only thing about fast travel that kind of sucks is that it gets you used to being able to just zip around the map, and then when you have to manually go run somewhere, you're you're like, oh my god, this takes forever. <laughs> it's, it's so tedious. Um, okay. I think that's the way we need to go, huh? Yeah, come over this way, rock over that bridge over there. I mean, theoretically, I could just walk that way. It's not going to irradiate me that much with the power armor, but... Ugh, what's going on here? I'm tear your fucking throat out. You are? Okay. Oh. That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna open up a door. Hey. Yeah? Hmm. I wasn't trying to... Now we have to reload everything. <laughs> so irritating. <laughs> I was. I thought I, was, thought I was just going to open a door because it looked like a hollowed out building. And it was just going to open the door and be go inside the shell of the building that I thought was there. I didn't realize it was going downstairs. So now we got to sit here and wait for this to load. <laughs> That's annoying. Where's the person that said... Yeah. You're gonna do what to my skull? What'd you say? It's another one, right? Oh, I wish I had the rocket pack right now. I could go all the way up there. Um, oh. oh man, come back! I was happy. Well, I would, but I can't figure out how to get up there. There's no stairs or anything. Does it? Am I supposed? I have to like go all the way up there with the no inside? Yeah. We're not doing that. Okay. Oh, this is the bridge we needed to get to, so that's good. 
I wanted to go bash his head in because he threatened me, but whatever. It's not it's not worth our time to fight our way through that building to get up there just for one dude. Be nice if I could shoot him from here though. Yeah. I do eventually want to go on that boat. I think there's a but I think there's a quest that leads us there eventually in one of the DLCs, so I don't know. I forgot I had that skill that allows me to mark mark enemies when I scope them. I need to start doing that. I need to test. I need to test if that's the way it worked. Does it mark? Because it didn't mark him, so I'm assuming it only marks enemies, and that's going to make it a much more useful feature. If I can, if I, if from far away I can target that. Yeah. Okay. Is it just? It's hostiles. It's all hostiles. National Guard training facility. Oh, you know what? I believe we come here for a quest later. I think. So, anything that's hostile towards me, it looks like. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is the this is the satellite area I was talking about before. Getting low on a power core. Oh, we got 14 of them, so I'm not super worried about it. Oh. One of these days, I'm going to remember that I had the bullet... Well, see, the thing is, is that the bullet time mod has not become second nature for me because it's such a pain in the ass to activate. See, the issue is, is that I was looking at that one that highlights living targets, but that only works on... Oh. T60. Um, okay. Hmm. Are we near anything right now? Okay, well, let's take a second and go back to Sanctuary. <clears throat> we'll drop off this power armor and go grab that one. So if you didn't know, if you've, especially if you've been watching this playthrough all this time because you're interested in Fallout, there are many suits of armor that you can find throughout the, throughout the Commonwealth, and some of them are super cool. Uh, so let's put this one in the power armor station. We'll go grab the other one and see what we can do about... What are you building? Get out. Okay, come on. So now we need to go back over to where we were, which was where? Where was I? Oh, okay, here we go. So we'll go to the training yard here. I hope it doesn't put me like right on top of it. And we'll go grab that power armor, cause yeah. Run, run. It was up here in that truck up there, so we're gonna go grab that. There's other, there's other ones. I'm, I will eventually look up. I thought I was getting attacked or something. Wait, wasn't there? There was a truck over here. There it is. 
It's uh, the next one over, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It already has a power core in it, too. I didn't even have to use a power core for it. Okay, um, it has no armor on the legs and arms, but that's okay. We'll find some. Hmm, so usually I, I would build a structure over here to store all my power armor. But I think for now... Complain about. Just do that. Right now, it has a T60 left, uh, T60 torso and left arm, and this one has a T45D torso and left arm. Let's put this in the. We'll put this in the power armor stand, just to see. I mean, the T60 is obviously going to be better than. It's going to have a better overall potential than what we have now, but. Maybe we can swap some parts out. It's the only irritating thing is that you have to, get, you have to sit through the animation all the time. All right. So the T60... Uh, hmm. Am I able to look at a glance at the other armor to see what the pieces offer me? Okay, here we go. So let's look at the torso. Where's the torso? The torso on this, because it's been upgraded, has 260, 190, 260, 190, and 300, and it has 380 health. Wait, what? Sorry. 260, 190, and 380 versus, well, I gotta look at what the upgraded number is. Um, so if we upgraded this to Model D, this would have 340, 245, and 620. Okay, um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this now. Uh, or maybe not. I don't know. I think I might just swap it out. Because the power armor frame is a power armor frame. It's the armor plates that you put on top of the frame that matter. So eventually we're going to upgrade to that. And I don't want to waste the material, like, the it's going to take me eight aluminum to do that. So, it's only another two to go out to the Model E once we get the armor rank three next level. So, I think what I'll end up doing is, is I'll pull off the T60 plates and put it on the power armor that I have now. And then, we'll just swap it out. So, am I able to just transfer these off? Yes, okay. So we'll walk over here, we'll transfer these out. We'll put the T60 torso on. Let's sorry, so we'll take the torso off. Where's the torso? We'll take the torso off, put this torso on, and then we'll take the left arm off and put this left T60 left arm on. And then for this one, we'll just swap it out like that. We'll put the Minuteman bracers and that on. Okay. Then we'll move him out of the way so we can... ...not have him in the way. So I think I should probably just move this. Because until I have enough... Until I have enough... Um, until I have enough power armor to justify spending the time to build a building... I can just put them right here. Okay. I know that wasn't the most riveting of things, but... <laughs> and I think the Minuteman paint job was free. I didn't, I didn't... I don't think it required any materials. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop over here and put that in just so we have it. Let's see. So the T60 left arm... Um, 
Yeah, we want the titanium plating. Yeah, but for now we can do the. Oh, I'm not able to do the. The Minuteman plating is not an option. Oh, I guess we're not painting anything then. I was going to paint it with the Minuteman painting, but that doesn't appear to be an option. So, Rusty Nut, no. Optimized Bracers, Tesla Bracers for the next level. But I'm not doing Unarmed Attack. So, Optimized seems like the best option. Ugh. Ha! Never knew you liked knitting. And then I'm not going to waste materials on this now because I want to do Model E when we level up. So as much as I'd love to get the extra hit points for that, it doesn't really make sense. And then for the material mod, yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. I can't get the Minuteman paint job on there. I mean, it's not like I really want it. It's just it would be nice to have. Okay. Um... So I guess that's it then, because we're, we don't have any mods for our chest that we can do. Still waiting for quite a long time for that. So while we're definitely going to take a hit for now, well, I don't know. I think the it's 280 damage resistance and 440 for what we have on there now. 280 and 440 versus 260 and 3. Yeah, we already, even the base model of the T60 armor has more armor than what we have on there now. So once we get this added on, we'll be good. It'd be nice if we could find some T60, some other T60 pieces, but just got to kind of come across them. All right, now we can get back to what we were originally trying to do, and that is get to the Finch Farm, which is over here. But sometimes, you know, you got you to gotta detour. You got to derail your plans and... Stop to take off, stop off to take care of some things because that's a significant upgrade, especially if we can find uh, matching sets. I could probably fill out the rest of that power armor because there was there were a couple of raider pieces that I found um, on a dude before. We weren't able to take his power armor frame, but we took his piece. We took the pieces off of his armor. I feel like that was a worthwhile expenditure of time, at least for uh, at least for our character. I'm sure a lot of people are going to find that find, would would have found that boring, but <laughs> you got to take the pieces you can find. Scavenger. I gotta get in the habit of like of, of targeting people so I can identify them. <clears throat> Overshot a little bit. It's right over here. Quest guy. Mr. Finch. Hey, you! Oh, sorry. Thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. I'm with the Minutemen. Tell me what happened, and maybe I can help. Well, I'll be jiggish. Didn't really expect anybody to come. That bastard son of mine, Jake, snuck out in the middle of the night to join him. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. It's the closest thing I've got to an heirloom. If you really are with the Minutemen, and you want to help, well, it would mean a lot to me if you could get that sword back. I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor, and I'll make it up to you as best as I can. Okay. Yeah, this is actually a fairly difficult thing to do. <laughs> this is a fairly difficult thing to do, because usually when I come over here, I think I'm always under leveled, so everything has a skull on it. Hopefully I've done enough side quests by this point that it's not going to be that bad, but yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and call it an episode because it's going to take me a little bit to get through this, and um, 
we're already 20 minutes in. So hopefully you guys are having lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you are. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. And I am looking for ideas for exclusive content to give you guys that would make it worth, um, you know, trying to help me out financially and not be giving it to me for free. So uh, ideas for things that we can uh, make exclusive to my Patreon and my hopefully upcoming YouTube membership. Leave me an idea in the comments because, um, you know, got to support creators, right? So again, uh, thank you very much for your time and I'll see you for the next one.